Welcome to ACD Combatives, your combatives and control tactics channel. Please like, subscribe, and share. Obviously, like we're squared off, okay. and Bruce Lee did this stuff all the time. You see it in in uh, Jeet Kune Do. We did this in Kaji Kembo. That's why, for me, uh, we didn't do a lot of outside leg kicks in Kaji Kembo, although we did. We did more of a like, from like a, a fencing position, and so I would always come here. And it's uh, this is the common peroneal, so you got that peroneal nerve that goes all the way down. Mm -hmm. uh, but there's nerves, and I forget what they're called on the inside too. We kept getting these. Boom, low kicks, and they're easier and safer to throw in a street fight. Mm -hmm. uh, but just as beneficial is to come in here, and then I can I can defend myself. So if you're coming in like you're going to step in, I'm going boom. You know I don't have to be as good as a boxer as you. Just as beneficial as the the teep. I might teep once, and then you come in again, boom, and then maybe I can come in. They do like a blast entry or something like that. Yeah. So on the bag, hands are up, and then so go ahead and practice that. Yeah. So the, the lead leg is is yeah. No, but use your lead leg. Yeah, you're still using a rear leg. I'm stepping towards you. So from here. Are you left handed? Uh, yeah, I'm left handed. Okay. But to say I'm right handed. So here, the knee is pointing towards the target. I'm sliding up. And shuffle. Okay. Defending myself. Alright. I'm going low. Back of the knee all the way down to the ankle. And it's not, it doesn't feel powerful. No, but over time that would. Yeah, but go ahead and square off with me. And I do that, like especially if I do one of these numbers to distract you, and I hit you the back of the knee, yeah. I could hit and maybe help can get into a grapple. But if I hit that just right, knocks your knee out a little bit, mm -hmm. it's going to disturb. Then I'm like, boom, I like to follow up with the, the shovel kick or the oblique kick that John Jones is so masterful good at. So bad. He would be like, yeah. Well, another way I like to set it up is boom, and then I do something like that. Yeah, exactly. But here, I'm boom, I'm on the outside from here or here. Distraction, and then I'm come down like a stomp on the inside. I'm gonna relax. I don't want to hurt your knee. And then I can take you down. We get in. Most of our kicks in Kaji Kimbo were from the diaphragm down. It looks a lot like. Uh, there, see how much powerful that is? That's, my right leg. That's a great way to set up. So I'm here, boom. Distraction, distraction. Like, don't look at the man behind the mirror. <laughs> boom. So that's the power leg. Distraction, boom. Now you've got this cross that you can set him up on. Again, that's your boss rooting concepts where if I throw this punch, I'm already chambered for this or a rear kick. I see. Mix and match the concepts. You could do the, the, the famous Jiu Jitsu stomp kick and finish up with a round kick. You'll be able to successfully do this in sparring. Yeah. Yeah, and uh, you can be outside and then. Like I haven't gotten that much closer to you. Then I can do this. And it's not very powerful. But it it annoys them. And then I set me up for that. So, and then you're still so safe out here. So if you come up with that in Muay Thai, they like to train that uh, I'm gonna come in here. You know, maybe I'll do 
one of these things. You can see people do this one. They do a tie kick. And they're still open for that yeah. cross. That's why the best way to throw it is out here with the hands up. That way you're protected. Plus, boom, distraction. I can throw that kick again. It's not going to be as powerful that way. Yeah, it's true. But Ooh, I, I feel that. I've done two things now. I can. What I would use this as a strike. Boom. Sorry. Yep. And now I've been to my favorite spot is grappling. Yeah. I'll try that with me. Okay. So. Boom. Then yeah, come in. Yep. Well, you I'll finish it. Tap with the lead leg. Get with the rear leg. So we're still sparring, tap with the lead leg. Instead of doing that, okay. come across I see. with like a hand in the face. Now come in with the, the kick. And you, instead of pulling back, step through. Boom, you got my back. So I'm giving you some sparring concepts. That help yes. defeat the graph into the grappling leg. Yes. That's, I've never been, the guy that likes to stay out here very long because again i have short arms i've got i from korean martial arts i developed my kicks that helps because my legs are longer than my arms but i like to find ways to get in and i don't want to take a lot of damage because it's against my religion to get punched in the face <laughs> i'm doing is and i'm purposely tapping with the foot you, instead you of the shin, smack. yeah, and you, you put street shoes on and you start kicking with the toe of the shoe, that starts hurting. And John says, oh yeah, just defend with the, but gosh, it still doesn't matter. You still get kicked, you kick, you, you get a hold, you can, I don't disagree with what he just said. My favorite defense of a round kick, they kick me in the leg. <laughs> don't get it. <laughs> and you're just like, like, just like a movie, like I'm trying to slash yeah. you in the stomach. And scoot out of the way yeah. and reset, or scoot out of the way and charge in. One of the two. Wow. Good to go. Yeah. Thank you, man. Okay. Let's roll. Hey. Let's be careful out.